traditional wisdom might say that if the cost of poor quality goes down, the cost of good quality is likely to go up. You have to spend money on quality to have good quality, in other words. While historically that might be true for many organizations, it is not the case in a Six Sigma company. Because Six Sigma works to create quality that is inherent in the process meaning things are done right the first time and defects are reduced the costs of quality often go down while quality itself goes up. In the beginning lectures of this Lean Six Sigma course, we showed that a process with a higher sigma level, and thus, higher quality, has fewer defects. Defects decrease in an exponential manner as sigma level rises. Because there are fewer defects, the costs of poor quality are exponentially reduced as well. But time and again, Six Sigma has also reduced the cost of overall quality. As the Sigma level of processes is increased via the application of Six Sigma tools and methodology, the cost of both prevention and appraisal goes down as well. One way of relating the cost of quality and perhaps the most common way of doing so among corporations is as a percent of sales. The cost of quality as a percent of sales typically aligns so closely with sigma values that you can predict the cost of quality based on a company's or process's sigma value. The average ranges for cost of quality in relation to sigma values are shown in this table. As you can see, as companies improve their sigma levels, they experience a substantial savings in the cost of quality. And at six sigma level, the cost of quality as a percent of sales has reduced to less than one percent.